The suspension of disbelief. In other words, the concept of suspending your feelings that you can't do something or your disbelief in something. You know, like when you go and see a scary movie and you have to suspend your disbelief. You know it's a movie, in other words. You know it's not real. But you suspend your disbelief in that and you pretend it's real and that way you can really enjoy the, the, the frightening feeling of the movie without actually being in any kind of danger. This is critical to world-class success. And here's why. When you're reaching for big goals, you know, we say world-class success, that means some of the biggest goals in the world. <laughs> that's, that's really big. And if you have the talent and the skill and the knowledge and the contacts and or you can build those things, then world-class success is possible. It may not be probable, but it's possible. And people do it all the time when the odds are clearly stacked against them. You know, I mean, everybody has their story. I mean, I went from being a tennis pro teaching tennis lessons. I mean, I've, you know, granted to really great players, amateur players, great amateur players and great pro players and Olympic athletes and started doing mental toughness training because that was my specialty with athletes and doing that. Had some pretty high level contacts and and clients and everything, but I wasn't really making any money. I've never made more than like $40,000 a year doing that. Um, and then I was able to take the message repackage it for corporate America and literally experience world-class success to traveling, having offices in 10 countries around the world within about five or six years. You know, then that's just my, my little success story. I mean, obviously there are people that are a lot more successful. I'm just intimately familiar with my story like you are with yours. But, you know, it, it kind of, it, it's kind of mind-blowing in a way when you're able to go from humble beginnings to something literally at a world-class level and it makes you realize or at least it made me realize that it's possible maybe not for anyone but for most people that that's that really are dedicated to studying something and becoming an expert in something or building their skill at something I mean, maybe you're a coder you know or maybe you know you have a a, a bent for uh, you know a talent for technology i clearly don't <laughs> you know i don't have a talent for most anything really but but a lot of people do and 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 you're maybe you're working a job right now you know you you're in maybe you want to be a speaker maybe that's why you watch this channel i don't know or maybe you're a coach a lot of coaches watch uh these videos and so and you but you're experiencing average success or maybe a little bit of above average success how do you go in the beginning psychologically how do you go from an average mindset to this world-class mindset how do you make that leap in faith that you're able to do this or it's possible even to actually living it i mean when it happened to me it does feel like you're living in a movie. I mean, when I was at the Oscars, you know, uh, with movie stars, and, you know, I'm having a conversation with Holly Berry and Jennifer Aniston and all these people around me and Harrison Ford and, you know, on and on. And, and then the next week I'm at the Playboy Mansion doing a fundraiser with Hugh Hefner and the whole, you know, Playboy Mansion team and all these different things, going traveling all over the world, being on Good Morning America and the Today Show and all that. I went from, you know, a very humble start to those things it wasn't overnight but it felt like it was overnight because it's just such a shift all of a sudden you're swept up in this world of movie stars and famous people and billionaires and <laughs> you know I mean there were times where I literally wake up in these hotels in different countries in the world and think how the hell did this happen? I mean, this is kind of unbelievable, you know? And again, there are people far more successful. It's not my point to brag about any of that because that's just my little story. But it, it, my point of it is the mindset it takes to make that kind of a shift, you know, from, from making an average income to millions of dollars a year, it's a big shift to make. Okay, when you're in it, when you're experiencing it, it's one thing because it is a lot. Like you're playing catch up, it feels like, or that's how I felt anyway. You're playing catch up, your, your mindset's trying to catch up to your actual life, your actual success. And it's so hard to believe, you know? And, um, and, but the real key is not that, because when you're in that process, you're already there. You've arrived. 
Now you just have to catch up with it and believe that you're not a pretender. You know, people talk about this, this uh, imposter syndrome. I never felt like an imposter really. I always felt like I had the skills. I was a little blown away that it went to the level it did fa as fast as it did. I had to catch up psychologically and emotionally to that. But, but I never felt like an imposter. But a lot of people do. They feel like, oh, you know, I'll deserve this and, and whatnot. I think if you do the work, you put the work in, whatever that is that you want to do, you're not going to feel like an imposter for long because you feel like, you know, this should have happened. Uh, but it can be overwhelming. But my point of this, and to put this in a package and to wrap this up, is the most important part is suspending your disbelief long before, years before you hit the world-class level of success. Suspending your disbelief that it's not possible. Just telling yourself every day, this is possible. I don't care what the odds are. I don't care how long uh, the, the odds are, you know, against me. I, I have a shot. I have a legitimate shot at this. I have a chance if I work at it, if I study it, if I practice whatever it is that you're, whatever it is that you're doing, I really do have a shot. And you start to believe it's possible. You're suspending your disbelief by not telling yourself things like, well, I never did that well in school, or I was never successful at this level before. I don't know anyone who's a millionaire or, you know, again, depends on what your, whatever your goal is. I don't know anyone who's done this. I've never seen, I've never known anyone that's been on television or in the movies or, you know, whatever. I've never, how, who am I? I mean, people told me that my whole life. Who am I to do this or do that and everything? You know, that you, you eliminate all that and you suspend that disbelief and you say, you know what, I'm going to completely stop talking to myself like that. I'm going to completely suspend my disbelief that this is possible because you know what? It is possible. And when you're in a free market country, you know, when you have the freedom to, to go for your dreams, it is possible. I know a lot of times the, the odds are long, okay? The odds are stacked against you, but that doesn't mean it's not possible if you're really focused and you're really dedicated and you really want it. But I believe it starts, no pun intended, I think it starts with suspension of disbelief. You have to stop talking to yourself in a way that discourages you from behaving and taking action to move you toward that world-class success that you're dreaming of because it is possible. It's not Pollyanna. If you don't do the work it is, I mean, it's not going to magically appear because you dream about it or put it on a vision board. But then again, I love things like vision boards. I love things like a vision board is simply a, rep a visual representation of where your life is going or where you want your life to go. You're inundating your consciousness with images. That's any, any first year psychologist will tell you that. Okay, that's all that is. It's not, it's not like you put it on a board and it magically appears in your life. It, it was never meant to be that. These are just images you're inundating your consciousness with to move you toward behaviors that will bring you into that world or bring these things into your world. That's all it is. Vision boards are one. Writing a vision out. Writing your five-year vision out. Here's what it feels like to be here at the top of the mountain, whatever that top of the mountain is for you. Here's what it feels like. Here's what my life is like. And you paint this picture. And then what it does is it motivates you to do the things, that, to, have the, to execute the behaviors you need to execute to get it closer. And all the while, as far away as you are from it, you're believing in it. You're suspending that disbelief and you're saying, it's possible, it's possible, it's possible, it's possible, it's possible. In boxing, here's what coach, boxing coaches say. No matter what the odds are against the fighter, a puncher, someone that can throw a mean punch, always has a chance because one punch can knock anybody out. A really good punch can knock any fighter in the world out at the right time. Okay, well, your one idea probably, one idea, one behavior, one contact, one product, one funnel, one, you know, whatever your goal is in your life, you're probably one big one, one home run away from a life you can't even believe. And I will tell you in no uncertain terms that if you've never lived a life that you wake up in the morning and you can't believe you live like this, it's a surreal experience. It's surreal. And I'll tell you this, I've been interviewing self-made millionaires for going on 39 years and they're no different than we are and they're living those lives. So why can't we? Why can't we have that world-class success? The truth is we can, or at least we have a shot. So suspend your disbelief, tell yourself you can do it, and then behave, do the things you need to do, and take your shot. Why not? What have you got to lose by trying? Go for it.